Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, so I think today I'm going to kind of shape this jacket to go over the pants a little bit. Um, that'll do kind of like two things. Um, let's It kind of does two things. It kind of gives a bit of variety to the clothes um, instead of just being neat to the edge. It also helps cover up the seam um, for you know for the middle here. Um, there's, there's kind of two ways you could go about that. You could put a shirt obviously underneath, but the point is to keep the the skin as if like for some reason this shirt's lost. Um, and he's just kept the vest. Having said that again, um, there will be sleeves, just the sleeves. Um, on probably just one arm. Uh, so, but anyway, let's, um, let's move this, this jacket, so I'm gonna just mask, Oops. Mask out a bit here. And just going to make sure that we get. In here as well. Let's um, let's hide that for a sec. Cool. <clears throat> Invert that. Let's bring our pants back. Alright, so we, we should be able to use our scale tool for this. So let's draw that now. Um, and a scale up that way. Actually, we'll, we might just use the move, the move tool, it might be easier. Um, so we're gonna we'll just use the move tool and we'll We'll probably We'll, we'll just kind of do it in sections, so we'll roughly pull the the bottom of the jacket out a bit. And bring parts of it down. So We know it's gonna. There's gonna be a belt there, so we're gonna actually pop it out just a little bit further. Than normal, and now we've kind of got this like, it, you know, it kind of looks like it's been popped out. So what we'll do is we'll. We'll just pop it. Oh, 
in there. And we'll, we'll smooth that off. And that's going to look a lot better. And it also conceals that, uh, that gap. The belt will too, um, and things like adding belt loops will help as well. Um, but that will do for now. Um, we're going to also just... Uh, so with the, with the pants, there's still going to be that seam down the middle. Uh, so I'm going to add that in. That will be there. But there's also going to be just on... <laughs> I can't really point. But just on the right side to the screen, there will be that sort of this kind of shape. <laughs> um, and that's where the zip is going to fold over into. But we'll have, have that seam there. Um, and I was trying to think of ways to... I don't like this. I want... I think I want this gone. So we're going to smooth that out as much as we can as well. Um, but I'll, I want that kind of wrinkled look to the pants. What I was thinking, instead of using um, the the folds thing is actually no, it doesn't. It's just to use crumple. I'm going to get a big sample um, and kind of just like just kind of let's make it a bit smaller. Just kind of do that. We're not going to grab all of it. We'll smooth most of it out and we can see these fine details and we'll just choose some of those to be our starting point for folds and um, work from there Obviously folds aren't going to be symmetrical, so we'll start with a few that are, and then we can work around that as well. Um, I'm going to move out this bottom part as well, just a bit, because the boot's going to be quite big. Um, or rather, the boot's going to play a, a biggish role um, for the bottom of the foot. So... I'm just going to do that. We're also going to give the bottom of the trousers uh, like a cuff, I guess. Um, so just use clay build up for that. And we'll just go around the outside of the bottom there. Just like that. And then we will smooth off just this side. Uh, not that side. We will flatten it all, flatten it all, just go around, flat, 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 and then pinch, that we'll re-topologize pinch pinch our seam back in it as well um, and then just smooth where it's kind of creased and uh, that's at least the start to our pants um, and gives us a better shape for the body uh, at least for the moment um, so all that work I did on the legs, it's not going to go two ways because we can actually, uh, just as an, a quick example, let's just smooth this out, just as a quick example, we might end up cutting you know, in, well, that's not a very good example, but 
we might end up having patches like that where you see the leg But uh, for now, we'll we'll leave it as as is. Um, so we might might leave it there. But yeah, hopefully that's given you a few ideas for like hiding those seams, like where especially where models are joint together. Um, we'll leave it there. Um, so hopefully you had a good Tuesday. We have Wednesday coming up, which is a uh, midpoint. Um, and I will talk to you, hopefully, uh, tomorrow. Alright, cheers guys.